Hi everyone, I'm Autumn and I'm so excited to be in the I am used to being the only in the room. So when I saw on the agenda that one of the speakers is a fellow disabled woman of color, I was so excited. I was so happy that finally I was not the only. And also that I would not have to be the one to say what usually falls to me to say, which is, don't forget that disability. Don't forget that disability is part of diversity. I had decided to read for you a poem of stories that I wrote just for this conference, just for you, the woman of color watching this now. The poem is called only. The first time I learned that there was such a thing as a bad word was when I asked my Catholic mother that the letters I saw piled into a desk at Saturday morning Chinese school. S-U-C-K-Y-O-U. I didn't even know it was human. Chinese school was hosted at a local high school and I was six years old. My mother never learned Chinese. Her mother wanted to be a school teacher here, but she was not allowed because of her accent. At the boiling point of America's melting pot, her parents felt pressured to protect her from her own heritage. In fourth grade, my teacher, a white woman as usual, had a celebrate on a culture by bringing in a dessert. I asked my paternal grandmother, no, he is my mama, I asked my mama to make tin bread. I proudly brought it to school and offered it to my classes. On the way to recess, I saw my mama tin bread in the trash can. Four decades earlier, she had escaped famine so great, more than 10 million people died of starvation. When my mama escaped to the north, the landlord took one look at her and turned her away. I had big eyes, she insisted to me one day, as if responding to voices taunting her from her memory. She was ahead of mine, but one day I saw how it cascaded into her ankle. She raised five sons in pardon. She told me the time how she had never in her life spent a single cent on cutting her hair. I have always wanted my hair long, my time. But I have been told that my body does not belong to me. This is what my family is saying when they say almost every day that my hair is too difficult for them to take care of. I am grown. My body is old. And I am the only soul who will ever live in it. I would like to choose how I wear my hair without being told that my existence is an inconvenience for someone else. Is that too much to ask? Or is choice only for others, not for me? At Stafford, I plan to become a doctor. You must differentiate yourself, the general advice was. So somehow thinking that I was not already different enough, I chose to major in engineering instead of biology. One summer, I interned at a small tech startup. There was no able-bodied people only sign over the Grayson Fountain. No able-bodied people only sign on the bathroom, but I could not drink any water 
because I would not be able to get into the bathroom. In that office, the men conference room after different decades. The feminine, the in, and the biggest room with the widest windows I could not enter because it was up a flight of stairs. The name of that room in the future. And the CEO of White Man as usual was not kind to his executive assistant, but she was always kind to me. She was an Asian woman with a law business. One day as I was looking at the snack, she asked me, would you like some cheese In the college cafeteria at late night dining, there was only one thing on the menu I would order. Pot stickers. One night, the woman behind the glass filled my box with several extra. She called out to me over the door of the kitchen in an accent I had never heard anyone call beautiful. This special for you. One day I was rolling along a pretty Titan trail with a friend, and a woman stopped me. She was one of my old Chinese school teachers, my last year. I was honored that she remembered me because the last time she saw me, I could still walk. In November, black disabled activist Imani Barber said, the same old people are the most affected by the pandemic, hands down. Yet we still cannot get our vaccine. This stable implementation can be summarized in one word, the word they need to the first of life, a new deal. The virus will only kill people with health problems. Okay. Um, in December, I hosted Alice Wong for a fireside chat here at Google. She said that the two of us are like unicorns. If only it were not special to find another disabled Chinese American woman. Last month, my mother was remembering her mother on her birthday. She, my papa, died when I was a child after a doctor dismissed her cancer symptoms for 10 years. I asked my mother more about my papa's life. I learned that she had a sister who never left China. That sister had told her as a child and use the wheelchair after that. And she's still alive. I do not know her name. I do not know how I, as a Hutton, would address her, but I must find her. She deserves to have someone look for her. She deserves to know that she is not an only. Thank you.